Welcome to Math for the Inquiring Mind. This video is intended to help students prepare and get started with this class. First, if you are watching this video, you must have been able to log into Moodle and find the course page for this class. You are off to a good start. There are two textbooks for this course. One is called Foundations of Learning and the other is called Math and Graphing Skills. They are written by Betty Hurley. Here are the ISBN numbers. Back to the course page. There are three essential areas on the course page that students are responsible for checking. These three areas will most directly impact your grade in the course. Announcements, the course schedule, and the tab for the current module. If you have found this video, that means you have already found Announcements. This is a great place to begin. Announcements provide the instructor with a way to present information to the whole class, like a teacher at the front of the classroom. Also important, is the course schedule. Here you will find a list of items that you must submit to the instructor and the latest date by which they should be submitted. The items listed are generally graded. By checking the announcements board and the course schedule you will see what work you should focus on completing at this time and when it needs to be completed. In the course schedule you will see references to modules. A module is a part of the course. Some modules last for one week, and some modules last for two weeks. Once you have checked the course schedule to see what module we are currently working on, exit the course schedule. Then, click the tab for that module to see that module's overview, assigned reading, discussion, and assignments. For example, here's module one. Please submit your discussion posts and assignments by the date specified in the course schedule as the end date or due date for the module. If you are watching this video before the course begins, you will see that we are currently in the preliminary part of the course. Notice we are asked to submit the first Mahara journal submission under the Course Tools tab. Let's check it out. Here's our course homepage, Course Tools. Here's the Course Tools tab, and down below we see the first Mahara journal submission assignment area. This is a great time to talk about the other online resources for this class, besides the course page. In this class, Math for the Inquiring Mind, you are asked to use two online resources in addition to the course webpage. One of these resources is Mahara. Mahara is an online resource that allows you to keep a working portfolio. Your login information for Mahara is the same as your login information for Moodle. Several courses use Mahara for various purposes. For this class, you will simply use Mahara to keep your journals. After you have written your journals, there are several ways you might submit them. You might copy your journal into a Microsoft Word document and upload this document in the appropriate assignment area. You also may copy the content of your journal into the text box in the assignment area. Many students create a secret URL, which is a link to their Mahara page. There are tutorials for how to do this posted in Mahara. In my experience, this often causes problems for students. As we go back to the course page, <clears throat> contact your instructor if you are having any difficulty with Mahara, and your instructor will help you with this resource or provide you with an easier way to submit your journals. Personally, I highly recommend submitting online text or a Word document in addition to a secret URL. Let me walk you through an example. In Module 2, one of the graded assignments is a journal. Reflections on your learning. Ideally, you will log into Mahara, write the journal entry, create a secret URL, which is a link to that journal page, and then paste this link in the text box for the assignment. 
Then I highly recommend that you paste the entire content of this journal entry into the text box as well. Personally, I have had several students in the past that have difficulty with Mahara, and I allow them to simply use Microsoft Word and upload these Microsoft Word documents to the assignment area. Ask your instructor. The other online resource you will use for this course is called Khan Academy. You will only use this for a few modules. For an example, let's take a look at Module 1. In Module 1, we are asked to read math modules 1 to 9 in our handy textbook, Math and Graphing Skills. Once you have read this part of your math textbook, you are asked to complete some work in Khan Academy. Specific instructions are written here. I recommend that you keep our course page open and click open a new tab and use this new tab to head over to Khan Academy's website. On Khan Academy, create your login information and log in, enter our class code, and begin working on the desired exercises. When you are done, you must go back to the assignment area on the course page. Here you will find some questions to answer about what you learned. You may enter your answers here as online text or upload your answers in the form of a Microsoft Word document. So, remember to check the announcements, course schedule, and the tab for the current module. To find out exactly what work you need to submit in, <clears throat> in each course module, there are specific directions for the assignments due in that module. In most of the modules, you are asked to complete a journal entry. You may use Mahara for this, or just enter online text, or upload a Microsoft Word document. This depends upon your instructor and what you a few modules require you to use Khan Academy and answer some additional questions about your experience. Don't forget to answer the additional questions. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped. Have a great journey.